Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be building and demoing the Marsupial Dual Voltage Control Filter by Cetonic Synth. They were nice enough to send me over the full DIY kit for this module, including an SMD pre-soldered PCB, the bag full of parts, as well as this little blank panel and some stickers. I'll leave a link to their page in the description where you'll be able to find this module as a DIY kit or fully assembled, as well as a whole bunch of other awesome modules, and I'm really excited to see what else they come out with in the future. I'm also planning to do a more in-depth full feature demo on this module, so also stay tuned for that on my page. As for the build, since the SMD components are already pre-populated. All you have to solder are a couple trim pots, a few regular pots, a couple headers, and some jack sockets. So definitely not too complicated. If you're a beginner to intermediate, I could definitely see you doing this build. You just gotta take it slow, follow the build guide, and make sure not to bump any SMD components with your soldering iron. As for the specs on the module itself, it's based on the AS3350 dual state variable filter IC. Kind of a mouthful, but it was originally used in a bunch of rare 80 synths uh, like the Synton Syrinx, uh, Rhodes Chroma, and Krumar Spirit. It's a super versatile IC chip which allows for a variety of multi-mode filter configurations which also makes this module very versatile as well. Being set up as a dual low pass slash band pass so it has a ton of different outputs you can work with all simultaneously as well as a ton of different inputs you can use for all sorts of control over the module itself. It has a switch for running the two channels in series or parallel and for controls it has a global cutoff, B channel offset, and a resonance knob as well as CV adjustment knobs for each channel. Calibrating the module was pretty simple and standard for a filter like this. Cetonic Synth put a very detailed description on how to do it in their build guide, but you pretty much just adjust the trimmers for each channel until you get good 1 volt per octave tracking. Which I must say, for a filter, the 1 volt per octave tracking on this module is fantastic. And just to show you, here's a short video of me going across the octaves while the filter is self oscillating. Before I get into any more demo clips, I just want to take some time to say thank you guys for all the recent support, a lot of new subscribers, a lot more viewers, um, so if you are a viewer and you haven't subscribed, feel free to hit that button as well as turn on the bell for notifications so you know when I next upload. Make sure to like the video, comment down below which module you'd like to see next, and if you are a small synth company or module designer, feel free to reach out to me, I'd love to feature your module, because as I said before, I love making this series because it shines light on many of the small smaller synth creators and open source builders that don't usually get as much recognition as the big names. But without further ado, here's some of the demo clips I recorded of the Marsupial by Cetonic Synth. Oh, <laughs> 